The virus is set to radically worsen food insecurity in Kenya, even as the country was battling the locust invasion, which was devastating huge chunks of farm produce. Restriction measures and global lockdown occasioned by COVID-19 has disrupted internal supply chains halting production. Here's Faisal Ahmed with the rest. This is Alice Chebet Rono, a passion fruits farmer in Mafuta village, Moiben, Wasingishu County. Chebet, like many other farmers across the country, is feeling the effects of the virus, which has disrupted the entire production chain. Social distancing requirements and movement restrictions has made it impossible for her to harvest the passion fruits in her 15-acre farm. <laughs> Her biggest market is Uganda, but since the virus hit Africa, the landlocked African country has been forced to close its borders, putting the likes of Rono out of business. From her farm, she used to make at least 100,000 shillings a week after abandoning maize farming five years ago. And with the uncertainty of the pandemic, Chebet now says passion fruit farming is no longer lucrative with produce worth millions of shillings going to waste. Because what on a phone are like 6,000 kilos, na kuna munya na chuku. So to me amo, zingine to uproot, zingine to, to fanye pruno, dio to, to one manene ya pei itakuwa aja. Kwa sabi hii mimea tunafunanga every week. So ukiona, siyo kama maindi enyo naeza, weka kwa store, uongo jai pei. The flower sector has also been adversely affected, with more than half of the 350,000 staff being sent home as most of the export markets in Europe are on a lockdown. According to Fresh Produce Exporters Association of Kenya, flower export adds about 1 billion US dollars annually to the Kenyan economy. But with the demand having dropped sharply, Kenyan exports have dropped by more than two-thirds in the recent weeks, costing the industry and the country millions of shillings in revenue. After a month of gloom and dumping of roses, flower farms in Naivasha have slowly returned to the market and started exporting the produce. With the reopening of the collapsed Dutch auction and with Kenya Airways increasing cargo flights, the farmers have increased their shipment by 50% in the last two weeks. But to meet the international safety requirements, farmers have been forced to introduce stringent measures including screening of employees and provision of masks for workers. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.